So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your keyboard within your Android phone. Now doing this is actually very easy, but it just depends on which keyboard you want to use. So Android typically will keep, especially with One UI, they will have customized keyboards for your specific phone. So if you want to quickly change your keyboard to another customized keyboard that you have, you can always click on the bottom left corner and you should be able to see a keyboard that you have. So I can just click on this little option here and it tells me choose input method. So these are all the different keyboards that you have associated on your phone right now. So if I want to, even on my Samsung phone, I can change it to Google's keyboard, which is Gboard. And this is an amazing keyboard that I love probably a lot more than the you know, one UI one, to be honest. So that's pretty much it. You click on the bottom left corner, whether you have an Android, stock Android one UI, it's pretty much in the same location. And you'll be able to change your keyboard this way. Now, another big thing to keep in mind is choosing a different keyboard. So if you want to do it, you can go into your Google Play Store just like so, and you can search up a different keyboard. So if you just go ahead and type in keyboard for the time being, not leopard, you want to type in keyboard. So we can go ahead and get into it like this, and then we can go ahead and download a different one. So if you want to try Microsoft Swift Key, you can go and install this one. And this is another big keyboard that you can use. Again, all these have their pros and cons, but this is another option that you have, which I would also probably recommend downloading and trying out. So once you go and have it installed and downloaded, what you can go ahead and do is once it's downloaded and installed, I guess it'll take a second, you can go and open it up and you can go and set up this keyboard as you normally would, enable it, you can go and go over here, you can change whatever. You want to enable Microsoft Swift Key right there, go and enable it there, select Swift Key, yada, 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 finish up, and you should be good to go. So if you go over here, you'll see the keyboard will now be switched over to Microsoft Swift Key. If I want to go back to Gboard, click here, click Gboard, and that's pretty much how to do it. So. That's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I got you guys in the next video. Peace out.